join me, because in today's video we will be making some armor. Give me a second! Oh, oh. There we go! Welcome back. I hope you're doing well today. I am excellent. We are here in the boat and we are taking on a new project today. The question is, what are we going to be doing? And uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of boat stuff re recently, so I'm going to be doing uh, another side project. And for the side project I choose to undertake today, it's going to be lamellar armor. So we're going to make a lamellar leather armor out of, yeah, leather plates. Yeah, I'll show you the process so you can make one yourself if you feel so inclined to make one. And, or, yeah, for whatever reasons. This is going to be like a Viking style armor. I already got started a little bit because there is a lot of uh, lamos that had to be cut out for this project. So. I've gotten a bit already, let's, uh, let's familiarize ourselves with the process. As you can see here, I have my selection of um, leather on the floor. So there I have three different colors. This is, um, I wouldn't say scrap leather, but like spill leather that's left over from a uh, production of something else. And it was an expense, I think it was like a 10, 12 dollars a kilo. And this is shoe leather, so it's about uh, two, three millimeters thick. You could want a little bit thicker leather for that, but you know, since the plates are gonna be overlapping a little bit, uh, it's gonna be good. I had a majority of this one, the brown one, uh, and I already started cutting out plates from that. And I already started marking up on the back side on this one. So you can see, here we go. Hey, what are you two guys doing? I have already marked out the uh, lamos I'm gonna be cutting out. As you can see, I number them so I just know how, at where I am. I need about 250 of these. So yeah, I've been drawing lines with something that's straight. And then I first use uh, this template that I made. And then I trace that onto uh, the leather. Once I cut out the strips with the lamas on it, I use this template where I had centered the holes. So they, this on this ones, I didn't do that. They're all off center. And I measured it out and painted it out and then I marked out the holes to get it more centered, so they will fit better together later on. So this is my two templates. So this one I'm gonna be starting cutting out. And yesterday I cut out about, yeah, 95 to be exact, of these lamels. It's all been cut out and uh, punched through already. Maybe we'll do uh, go through them all later on and make them look a little bit nicer. And of course we gotta figure out a way. We're gonna have get some rope material or maybe cut some leather strips. So we'll connect, connect the plates together later on. Then I'll lay them out for you so you see the design we're going for. What we have to do, of course, is uh, cutting out all the leather plates, which is uh, a lot of them. So we've got a couple of hours more of cutting work to do. So let's get to that. And uh, yeah, step by step, we're building this uh, lamellar leather Viking type armor. So hang in there for this. It's going to be great. The tools that I've been using so far are uh, very basic. Razor blade knife, hole punch, ballpoint pen, a level. Yeah, yes, because it has a straight edge, so. And as long as the leather is the right thickness, uh, you are good to go, because you don't need to uh, spend money buying an entire uh, sheets of leather or leather hides, because since you are gonna be cutting everything up into these sizes anyway, get the leftover material. This cut here first off. Make sure you have a really sharp knife. There we go. Mm, I love that smell. Yes, bloody love it. Uh, get our template for the holes. Line it, line them up here. There we go. There we go. Draw the holes. Scrap. It's cut out. Holds marks on the back side. The holes punched out. Damn. Looks good. Put it in the pile of completed lamels over here. 
keeping track of how many we made so far. And now we just have to do that another uh, 150 times. <laughs> finish cutting out most of the plates now we gotta trim the edges of these plates because I think it's a little bit boring and I think they look uh, better like this and they're all you see this is the uncut pile over here that's gotta be cut up but then you take them take the razor blade knife yeah and uh, trim off this thin strip along all the edges here there is actually a tool you can get to do this, to do the edges, but yeah, I don't have one, so we're just gonna have to do uh, do it by hand. I know it's not optimal, but you know, it gives all the pieces a little bit more of a personal touch, I think. I might come up with a stamp and maybe stamp all the plates later, we'll see. But yeah, that's one... Uh, plate edge done throw it in the done pile over here so I'm all done with trimming the edges on the leather plates and I also have a shave if you wonder what the happened to my face I shaved that's what happened here we have uh, I believe uh, this will be more than enough for the armor and maybe even for the shoulder pads that we're gonna be making for it so I have lined them all up here for easy access uh, Kite is here assisting then yeah I did make uh, some test something I'm gonna mount it this way with the uh, rounded edge upward let me show you on myself just like that so this is just the uh, test plate i did to uh, try different fasting methods fastening methods i tried some uh, leather and different kinds of rope i think one was a ute rope and the other one was like a hemp rope let's take a closer look at that so here you can see i used the leather strips uh, this is happens to be white leather about a centimeter wide maybe a little bit more and you fasten it like that then I tried some green leathers so I got some a green leather strip and it looks like this versus white and I believe this is like a ute rope that's how that looks then I this is a hemp rope Backside looks like this. We'll go through it later how you uh, thread them together. But yeah, this is how it looks on the backside. I was checking through my selection of leather. I have a, uh, a bag full of it. This bag right here in particular. Suede, some pretty nice. Some nice suede. Brown, less brown. Another one, and a white one. Well, yeah, but I found a lot of these uh, green skins, like a lot full of full skins. One blue one, and I thought I had more white, but it turns out I don't have a lot of that. So uh, I'm gonna go with the green. There's some leather strips uh, cut up. 
and some uh, longer ones here. I put down a template for how I want the top plates to be. It's gonna be uh, on the top of the chest. And I already made one. Right now it's a bit, looks a little bit sloppy and crooked. It'll look better later on. All the way through. Kita, what are you doing? So, now we got two strips tied together. Two plates. Then what we want to do is we're going to take this end. Bam. And we'll just... Kita. I'm trying to work here. Get out. Get out. We repeat the same process again. The edge through the top hole. It lines up. So you put it on the right side. So it gets goes on top of that one. Here, thread it through the hole. Yeah, pull it all the way through. Go the bottom hole again. Just like that. Then pull it through. There. That's how it looks on the back side. And then you continue again. The top hole, boom, boom. Yeah, of course, when you get to the middle one, after the middle one, it's coming next here, like this. At this place, it's gonna be the center plate. We're gonna start putting it on from underneath, like this. So this one is on top. Like so. So now we've made two separate rows of plate. Now we're gonna attach them together, like so. Tie it off on the back side. Yeah! First one there. Boom, boom, boom. Now I gotta go all the way down. So, uh, back side again. There you can see it's starting to look armorish. Mm, I'm pretty happy how, with how this looks. This side over here. Yeah, what we gotta do now is, yeah, simply, uh, build the armor with uh, this leather strips and uh, the plates over here so oh, as you can see here's the leather armor the front side uh, has been complete the front or the back side it doesn't really matter they're both gonna look about the same so uh, it looks great yeah of course uh, there is a cat underneath the armor hello kita kita yeah so it looks very good and on the back side it looks like this <clears throat> Has a nice crunchy leather sound to it. And then, of course, we're gonna make some shoulder pads and a backside to it. And we'll make some leather here to fasten it all together. And some straps to go here. And if we have more remaining leather, maybe we'll make some uh, leather things down here. We'll see about that. But so let's go make the other side of this one. So we can start uh, doing the uh, shoulder things. Get there! now completed all the segments of the, that's gonna go in lamellar armor uh, so I have uh, set it up here on the floor to be able to you know get an overview of what we need left doing so so we have a front piece back piece and uh, shoulders as you can see this small plate is gonna be attached to this one here bam like that and then in turn, the shoulder will be, of course, mounted to the back and front plate. Same on the other side. But what we got to do before we put it all together is we got to finish finish off uh, the edges here. What are you doing? I'm, run, I'm running a little bit low on uh, this brown leather, but I have this darker brown one, so I'm going to use that. So I'm going to cut out strips. And it's going to be sticking out about, yeah, maybe one or two centimeters here. And here on the top, I'm going to use this piece. 
like that. And I'm gonna, you know, cut out a shape here. It's gonna go all the way and like that. Schmook. And the same on the back. Maybe we'll uh, just sew them together up here or put like a one of these things so you can adjust it. And then we're gonna have, yeah, on the sides here as well, leather sticking out about uh, 15, 10 centimeters on each side just to cover up the side so you get good side protection as well. It's also gonna be on here, leather strips around here, so we'll give it some more rigidity as well and keep the plates from separating on the top and the bottom. So we'll be cutting out the leather strips, putting it on, and yeah, then, then it's almost done. Then all we gotta do is attach it all together. There we go, there's gonna go a strip on the bottom there piece on the side one the thing thing that goes around the uh, the head and the neck uh, the back side thing there then I cut out these two leather strips that we're gonna use for the shoulder and arm things excellent let's get to it So I finished making the uh, edges of the armor. Let's go check it out what we did exactly here. So I put leather strips. Yeah, so I put leather strips along uh, all the edges down here, all the way along here. Now kid is in the way, but uh, yeah, over here as well. Then I attach this this to the sides. Same on the, that one over there. Then we have these pieces that's gonna go around the the head. It's gonna be attached together as well. And of course, I did the edges on the uh, arm protection here as well. And it gave it uh, actually a lot more rigidity. It feels uh, much more armory. And it, of course, it looks better as well. I think it looks really great. So thus, uh, Kidemi the Kate, she also enjoys the armor. The only thing remaining to do now is that we gotta put it all together. Fucking excellent. This took way, way longer than I had planned, but it wasn't especially hard. It just took a long, long time. We're gonna have some. I had some straps like these. I painted them black, and we're gonna mount that here in the middle as a closing device. This I'll just sew together, I believe, and this I'll attach with leather. So the only thing on this armor that's not gonna be leather are gonna be the the metal buckles that's gonna go on here. Everything else is gonna be 100% authentic leather armor. Don't you say so, Kite, huh? Yeah, super nice armor. This, this has been going on for way too long. For far too long, my friends. But soon the leather lamellar scale armor of doom and medievalness, Viking Byzantine inspired in styred style. It's gonna be great. So see you soon. Smack, bam, and slam. Armor has been completed. I'm very happy with how it looks. Let me put the camera a little bit further back. There, bam. Yeah, it took way, way longer than what I wanted it to do. To do. Super, super happy with the result of the laminar leather armor. It looks great. All that it needs now is to be worn in. You got flexibility on the shoulder plates, just like you want to. Good protection down to the arm here. Good movement. Yeah, good movement as well here. Backside. And what can I say about the process? Yeah, you will see, you saw all the things I did. It's not super advanced to make laminar armor, if I'm gonna be completely honest. 
the only template I did was the one Lamu. And yeah, and then I had to do another one for the holes because I fucked up on the first one. But yeah, that's pretty much the only templates you need. And then yeah, diligence, patience will get you a far, far way. Skill level required for this uh, kind of project, which is not very high. It's very uh, simple armor to make. It's just that it uh, takes a lot of time. I'm gonna say that. Uh, time consumption, yeah, quite high. So how long time did it take me to do it? All in all, total work time, maybe 36 hours of work. If you have any questions at all, like about the process where I acquired materials, uh, tools, you know, anything related to armor making or leather craft, ask me in the comments below and I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. I'm no expert, but you know, I still made this. So, so you know, I, I, and I, I'm not an idiot. Well, uh, yeah. It's about time I sit down now, edit this video together, and you know, slap it out there on the interweb so you can see what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks. I also saw some other guy making a leather armor related video. Um, what the fuck was the name of that YouTube channel? I think it was Skill Tree. It was kind of fantasy looking. It's not a bad armor, but you know, a protective value of that armor. I mean, it's cut open here like a shirt down to here. So you I mean somebody spears you in the middle of the chest? It's not gonna. It's not gonna do you a lot of good saying that and then yeah thin leather less than two millimeters is pretty much you know why it looks great not saying about that if you do like fantasy role-playing fine fine it's fine but this armor here I would actually be say that this is you could wear this to like a reenactment event because it's 100% made out of leather except for the two buck buckles here but you know you can go to some uh, go to medieval market or renaissance fair and have the local blacksmith make you a couple of uh, you know properly looking buckles or order them on the internet you can find them there as well and when it comes to lamellar armor as well uh, it was uh, a very common armor type for a long time it was you know used in europe and asia and you know all over the world pretty much so don't be afraid to uh, make one for yourself it fits in everywhere it goes with every kind of historical Thing, as long as you're not doing like 17th century reenactment then people's gonna look strange at you unless you're maybe like a Mongolian step warrior coming up in your horse shooting arrows and shit yeah I was gonna try test the armor out uh, how resistant it is against arrows but unfortunately uh, I have misplaced my composite bow I, I can't find it I don't know where it is uh, I think somebody stole it but uh, I'll keep looking maybe it shows up somewhere you never know and I've been a little bit inactive, you know, a lot of stuff going on right now. But hopefully we'll get some more videos out to you uh, sooner rather than later. Yeah, I hope you liked watching me build a lamellar leather armor. It was great fun. It was a learning experience. And I can re recommend it as a, a project for anybody who is a little bit, like, you know, interested in history or Viking stuff or the Mongols. Or the the shiny Sturkata army, I think a similar kind of lamellar armor. Maybe maybe you want to see me do more videos like this. If you do want to see me make more uh, more stuff, yes, yeah, leather working or you know reenactment, historical LARPing stuff. Let me know in the comments what would you uh, would like to see me make. I could do anything like a helmet. We'll try right that or some bracers. Maybe we'll do a pair of shoes someday. I bought these shoes. I haven't made them myself, but uh, maybe we will make a pair of shoes ourselves one day because I realize due to budgetary constraints everybody cannot buy proper historical shoes or like you know kind of historical looking shoes so maybe I'll do a video of how you make a pair of like medieval leather shoes on the sheep if you're interested in that let me know for a little while maybe I'll go out and make up a campfire and do a little bit of grilling and shit uh, you know, maybe rub some uh, some butter and uh, meat juice all over it so it looks uh, properly weathered. I'm not a super fan of, you know, fake weathering. It looks obviously fake, especially when you're up close to it. So I'm just gonna wear it for like three days straight out in the forest, roll around in dirt and make fires and cook food. And that will do the weathering by itself. Maybe cut some wood and yeah, have somebody hit at me with sticks or something. So. Procrastination is a bitch, motherfucker. Uh, and... Uh, Make yourself a suit of lamellar leather armor. Everybody needs one. Let's get the fuck out of here. And I'll see you around sometime, you know, in a couple of days or something like that. I don't know. You know? 
we'll see what we do next. You never fucking know. Ciao and see you. Arrind. Gamalasene, gamalasane. Oh.